Now comes to the mysterious exercise 15 chapter probability. Question number 3. It is given that in a bag there are 5 red balls and some of the balls in that bag be blue. So let the number of blue balls be x. And the question is given that the probability of drawing a blue ball is double that of the probability for drawing a red ball. So first we will calculate probability of drawing a blue ball will be equals to e1 equals to blue balls are x and total number of balls that will become 5 plus x that is here n of s total balls 5 red and some balls are blue so probability of drawing a blue ball p1 equals to x upon 5 plus x and probability of drawing a red ball so red balls 5 and total number of balls 5 plus x according to the question it is given that p1 is equals to 2 times of p2 so x upon 5 plus x is equals to 2 into 5 upon 5 plus x. So this factor 5 plus x cancel out. x equals to 10. So number of red balls 5. Number of blue balls let us assume that x. So total number of sample points, total number of balls in that bag will become L of s equals to 5 plus x. Probability for drawing a blue ball, number of blue balls are x and total is 5 plus x. So upon x upon 5 plus x and probability of drawing a red ball, red balls are 5. So 5 upon total number of balls 5 plus x. According to the question is given that the probability of drawing a blue ball is double of the probability of drawing a red ball. So it becomes x upon 5 plus x equals to 2 into 5 upon 5 plus x. The denominator factor can be cancelled out. So x equals to 2 into 5, 10. Now question number 4. It is given that in a bag total number of balls are 12 out of which x balls are black. Total number of balls in a bag is 12 and out of which the number of black balls are x. So total n of s here will be 12. Now what is the probability, probability of getting a black ball? That is P1 will be equals to there are x black balls and total is 12. It is asked what will the probability of getting a black ball. So total number of black balls are x and total balls are 12 x upon 12 now it is given further in the question that if 6 more black balls are added in the same bag since 6 more black balls are added in the same bag then our n of s in this condition it becomes 12 plus 6 will be equals to 18 and number of black balls number of black balls will become now x plus 6 so probability for now probability for drawing a black ball drawing a black ball will be now x plus 6 are the black balls and total is 18 that is our given by P2 according to the question it is given that P2 that is probability of drawing a black ball is now twice of the probability of drawing a black ball in the earlier condition that is 2 times of P1 so x plus 6 upon 18 is equal to 2 into x upon 12. 6 3s are 18, 6 2s are 12. 
now we cross multiply or we can cancel it out 2 and 2 and x plus 6 is equals to 3x 6 is equals to 3x minus x 2x is equals to 6 which implies that x is equals to 3 so total number of balls now in this condition the value of x is equals to 3 so x equals to 3 we got the final answer here the number of balls in a bag is 12 out of which the number of black balls are x so probability of drawing a black ball will be x upon 12 when 6 more black balls are added to the same bag the total number of balls becomes 18 and black balls become x plus 6 so according to the question we have to solve the problem and we get the answer x equals to 3 this finishes my probability chapter and as from the NCRT questions, whatever the rest of the questions left out in the exercise, there is only one exercise. Please try to finish up that exercise. Thank you.